What's up guys, welcome to Apex. Thanks for tuning in. In today's video, let's take a look at all the new options that we get on Bixby routines on One UI 4.0. Here we have got Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra on the right hand side, which is running on One UI 4.0 beta. And on the left hand side, we have got Galaxy Note 10 Plus, which is running on One UI 3.1. So let's open Bixby routines on both these phones and let's see what are the new options that we get on One UI 4.0. Before we go ahead, if you're new on the channel, make sure to subscribe to watch some cool contents on Samsung Galaxy phones, Android applications, MIUI, One UI, etc. And do smash that like button if you find this video useful. Now, let's get started. All right, now let's go ahead and open Bixby routines on both the phones. As you can see, we've got adaptive routines here. We have got useful anytime option or category here. Uh, these will keep shuffling every now and then, these categories specifically. So what we'll do is we'll tap on adaptive routine here on One UI 3.1 and we will also tap on adaptive routine suggestions on One UI 4.0. As you can see, we have got an all new option here at the bottom which says get notified when fully charged. So there is an orange dot over here. Let's tap on this particular option. So apart from these options, most of the other options which are going to be same even on One UI 3.1, the all new option we have here is indicated in this orange button here. So get notified when fully charged. Let's tap on this. So it says if battery level is equal to or above 100%, then edge lighting effect once, vibrate once, always on display, show custom notification. So these are the suggestions or these are the settings that we have for this particular routine. So if you want to change it or edit it, you can do that. But by default, this is what we get for this particular new option that we get on One UI 4.0. Now let's go back. Let's tap on useful anytime. We can see an orange dot here as well. As you can see, we have got about six options here. We have got about uh, seven uh, suggestions over here. Uh, we have got always get key notification. This is an all new setting that we have. Let's tap on this. Uh, here the if condition is notification received with keyword, sound mode, so uh, this is uh, not set. So if you can, if you want to set notification received with keyword, you can set that. And then we have got sound mode, which is in mute. You can change that as well. And then condition is edge lighting effect once, basic and vibrate once. So these are the options that we get with this all new suggestion. Let's go to focus option here. Uh, let's tap on view mode. As you can see, we have an orange dot, dot here as well. Uh, we have got an all new option, control devices during calls. So turn off or mute appliances and devices to keep things quiet during calls. So let's tap on this. As you can see, we have got during call from anyone, place arriving at a particular location, uh, then condition is control devices, which you can set here. So when you arrive at a particular location or uh, during a call from anyone, we can control the device. So that is what we have in focus option. Let's go back. Now here in get the best media experience, we don't have any orange dot. Uh, then we have got more accessible. Again, there is no new option over here. All right, these are a few new options that we have in this discover section on One UI 4.0. Now what we will do is we will tap on add routine. Let's tap on add routine on One UI 4.0 as well. Okay, now let's tap on if condition. I'll tap on if condition on One UI 4.0 as well. As you can see, we've got manual, time, place, device, and event. So these are the sections we have under if conditions. Here on One UI 4.0, we have got manual and we have got an all new option called context under which we have got wake up time, before bed, sleeping, driving, traveling abroad. So these are the new options that we have on this particular section. So this is context that we have here. Then we have time, place, device, and event. And we also have another additional option here, incoming call and during call. So this is under call category. So these are the new additions we have under if conditions. Then condition, as you can see, we have got a few new dots over here. We have got connections, we have got advanced options. So these are the two sections where we have got some new options. Let's check that out. Let me show you how this works. 
Now what we will do is uh, let's go back and let's set an if condition. Let's say start manually. Now let's tap on then condition and select advanced option. Let's tap on this and add what this routine will do. So let's tap on add. Let's select functions. Let's say uh, turn on flashlight and let's add a couple of more options here. Uh, let's add routine plus touch macro. And then, and then let's add apps, open an app or do an app action. Let's select any particular app over here, open 4K wallpaper, done. Let's tap on done. Let's go to next, done. Uh, we will add this particular shortcuts or icon on the home screen. Now let's go back. We've got an all new icon here to start the action manually. When we tap on this, it is showing us the action menu. So whatever we have selected are shown up in this particular window. Uh, you can see turn on flashlight, touch macro, open an application or do an app action. So if you want to execute this particular function, we can just tap on that to execute that. Now the flashlight is on over here. Uh, let's tap on open an app. Uh, we have set this 4K wallpaper app to open. We can tap on that to open this particular application. So that is what it does. Likewise, we can select a uh, wait before next action. Uh, then what happens is uh, this particular function will wait before uh, taking the next action. You can set a particular wait time to take the next action. So that is what it does. And then we have got confirm before next action. So it will ask you to confirm before executing a particular action. So what I'll do is I will get into a detailed video explaining you about how all these functions work. Uh, in this video, I'm just showing you what are the new additions that we have on One UI 4.0. So this is more or less it. Uh, we don't have anything new over here. Uh, we have got new additions on uh, the discover section and then we have got uh, new additions or new options on then conditions. So this is what we get on One UI 4.0. That's about it. That's all I want to share with you guys. I hope you guys are enjoying One UI 4.0 if you have already got the beta or stable version. If you haven't got it, Wait for it, you're going to enjoy this all new One UI 4.0. If you want to know if your device is eligible or if you want to know the update schedule for your device, I have made another video. I will leave a link in the description. You can go ahead and check out. You will get to know if your device is eligible and you will also get to know the tentative schedule to receive One UI 4.0. So make sure to check that video out. The link in the description. Let me know what do you think about Big Speed Routines and its new additions on One UI 4.0. Leave a comment. And if you're new on the channel, make sure to subscribe. Leave a like for this video if you find it useful. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.